So we meet again, this time in the American Challenge Cup final. It's Bayern Munich against Manchester United. Last time out, you couldn't separate the two sides as it finished one apiece in that group game. Well, there must be a winner today. Let's take a look at the Bayern Munich team. A lot stronger than that first game we played against them. Manuel Neuer does start in goal. Kamish, Boateng as captain, Hummels and Alaba all starts the back four. It is a midfield of five. Ribéry, Thiago, Rodriguez, Martinez and Thomas Muller with Robert Lewandowski up top. For Manchester United, David De Gea starts in goal. Victor Lindelof, Bay and Smolin as the back three. Valencia and Luke Shaw as the wing backs. Matic and Pogba and Lingard in midfield with Alexis Sanchez who has been the standout performer for Manchester United so far in pre-season and Romelu Lukaku who was brilliant against Barcelona in our last game does start as well. Well the team's huddling up here looking forward to this American Challenge Cup final here at the StubHub Arena. we yet to uh, to actually play here. We did last season on FIFA 18 but if you remember we weren't as successful. I think we played Bayern Munich in the final last season as well and lost. Martinez Look at the press once again from Bayern Munich. Here is Robert Lewandowski on the ball. A totally different animal from what we experienced in that first game. We've really got to be on our toes today. Bayern with the corner. It's a good looking corner as well. It's fallen to the head of Boateng. And they've almost made it 1-0. They've almost drawn first blood here. What a tight angle. Very optimistic. Lewandowski. Plays the one two with Thiago. It's Thiago again. Does have runners to his left and he does find Frank Ribéry. Ribéry. Back pass to Alaba. And they're building up nicely here by Munich. And it's Robert Lewandowski who finally gets the first goal by Munich. So thoroughly deserve. It's been coming. And it's taken half an hour for by Munich to find the back of the net. 1-0 then, how do Manchester United come back from this, can they, what a ball into the box that was, taking that risk and it paid off, no risk, no reward, how about that for a finish, unstoppable from Robert Lewandowski, Luke Shaw in plenty of space down the left side, and getting a good cross here, it's fallen for Jesse Lingard, and he's missed again. He missed one or two sitters in the game against Barcelona. And it seems as though he's going to continue that in the final here today. Manchester United going hell for leather now. Space opening up here for Romelu Lukaku on his favourite left side. And it's straight at Manuel Neuer. Well, it's half time here at the Stub Hub. It's Manchester United nil, Bayern Munich one. And that goal coming from Robert Lewandowski. Matic towering above the opposition there to get to the ball. Sanchez looking for Paul Pogba. Almost found him. Romelu Lukaku picking up the loose ball. It's in for Alexis Sanchez. It's 1-1. Manchester United right back in it. Game on. What a ball into the box from Lukaku. Sanchez has no right to be getting to that, especially when he's got Hummels marking him. But Hummels makes the mistake of coming behind Sanchez and the ball begins to dip too quickly for Hummels to have any impact, have any say on it. Bayern Munich looking to assert their dominance in this game. It's Lewandowski through for Thiago. They almost did. They almost got back in the lead with that effort. Lewandowski, look at this for passing from Munich. It is an art and they've almost made it 2-1 again. Manchester United getting very, very lucky. Well, once again, it's finished 1-1 between Bayern Munich and Manchester United. And there must be a winner in this game, which means we go to penalties. You can see the new animation of when teams go into penalties. Looks fantastic. I really like that. Adds a lot to the game, to be honest, especially for moments like this. So it's Lewandowski that steps up first, who scored the first goal in this game, makes it 1-0 on penalties. Paul Pogba in the first penalty for United. We've got that cocky, slow run-up, and it pays off. 
It's 1-1. One, one. It's James Rodriguez up next then for Bayern Munich to make it 2-1. Up against David De Gea. And he does. He goes to the left side. Not worrying at all about the pressures Romelu the Lukaku. It's time to step up. He's been okay in pre-season. Makes it 2-2. Confident penalty. penalty. Wasn't too far from Neuer as well. David Alaba for Bayern Munich to make it 3-2. And he does. Seems to be no stopping Bayern Munich at the moment. Marcus Rashford up next who did come on towards the end of the second half. Misses. How on earth? Manuel Neuer at the very last second just sticks out his right hand and saves. Frank Ribery up next for Munich. Can David De Gea save? No, he can't. And it's 4-2. Manchester United need to score this. And all the pressure falls at the feet of Andreas Pereira. Up against one of the world's best. Manuel Neuer. Andreas Pereira misses oh dear Manuel Neuer was rooted to the spot as well he would have been beaten if that was on target Andreas Pereira not disheartened just disappointed but there we have it as the Bayern Munich players celebrate they will go on to lift the American Challenge Cup as Manchester United turn their attention to their final two pre-season games the first being against Atlanta at the Mercedes-Benz Arena can't wait to see United there and the final pre-season game against DC United we will be reuniting with Wayne Rooney can't wait for that it is the unfortunate part of the beautiful game losing a final on penalties but it is Bayern Munich they go all the way he was so close so close to uh, heading into the new season with a little piece of silverware in the American Challenge Cup but it will be Bayern Munich that lift it whilst I've got the opportunity as well whilst we watch Bayern Munich lift the American Challenge Cup I just want to quickly mention that I know some of you are waiting for transfers and transfers are going to happen but this is the plan. The next episode will be the final of pre-season. We're just going to play two more games. Then after that, I'm going to do a transfer special. So keep your suggestions rolling in. And then, of course, we'll get our targets and then begin the Premier League season. That should take us up to the full release this coming week of FIFA 19. I'm so excited. Hope you guys are as well. But there we go. There is uh, Bayern Munich is kind of disappointing hopefully that is the last time we'll see the opposition celebrating a cup final against us unfortunately in that final against Bayern Munich Eric Bay did have to be replaced he did come off with an injury and he's been put on the sidelines now with a quad injury for three weeks so he's going to miss the start of the new season Eric Bay that's a bit disappointing we could have done with him I was planning on uh, having him start against Leicester City at Old Trafford there's the headline that Bayern Munich won the Challenge Cup Sanchez this is fantastic news has picked up the player of the competition when he only managed to score two goals which is decent especially when you think you only play what four or five games it's okay although I don't think his performances were that outstanding they can certainly be better I mean he only seemed to give what 70-80% every game he did start up alongside Lukaku there is definitely more to come from him as well as that man there Paul Pogba who rose to the occasion against Bayern Munich in the final let's take a quick look at the stats then so top goal scorer is Alexis Sanchez off the American Challenge Cup level on goals with Thomas Muller Paul Pogba and Bernard so looking at that I mean overall not a bad pre-season could have been better, of course, by beating Bayern in the final. But I feel as though we're almost there. We're almost ready for the start of the new Premier League season. So, with the American Challenge Cup final well and truly put behind us, we move on to our final pre-season game. We are at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium to play against Atlanta United. I've been looking forward to this one. This stadium is absolutely beautiful. It's amazing what they've uh, they've managed to accomplish. 
the architecture absolutely spot on and this game it's just a bit of a one-off getting us really prepared uh, for the new season ahead I have gone for a heavily rotated side you'll notice that Ramiro starts in goal Dallow and Ashley Young's two wing backs Roshan Williams starts alongside Smallin at the back we've got Sanchez Lukaku and Lingard going forwards in midfield Fellaini Fred and Scott McTominay and of course with it just being a friendly you've got to have the uh, the team's picture just before kickoff the lads looking ready for the season ahead look at Rose Sean Williams can't wait to get him into uh, some first team action so Atlanta United starting off on the front foot here Sergio Romero having to tip that one away from danger and Ashley Young will clear here is Scott McTominay going to be a big part in this series without a doubt Diego Dallo fails to uh, intercept that ball there as Barco swings in another dangerous looking cross for Atlanta United good header outside wide Ashley Young on the overlap here on his favoured right foot and it's a good effort from Jesse Lingard and Brad Guzan at it again against Manchester United on FIFA he's been a real thorn in my side Guzan over the years Jesse Lingard scored that goal against Barcelona can he score here again Lingard to Marwan Fellaini sees the run of Romelu Lukaku keep off his line Lukaku he does score but it is offside so unfortunate he's been offside quite a few times in pre-season he's way off there Martinez to Barco here is Remedy what a ball that is look at the acceleration of Almiron and Ramiro with a world-class save Fieber Almiron to Martinez the play from Atlanta United is superb and Roshan Williams with a crucial block could have been an own goal still goalless here at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium between Atlanta United and Manchester United here is Martinez again and it's 1-0 and Miron with the first goal in this pre-season friendly and it's been coming Manchester United looked very weak at the back and they have uh, destroyed us out, out wide in this game it's a really good solid head of that oh my words it's those runs in behind and Martinez very very unfortunate not to get a second there but again solid from Romero Almiron up for more here is Ashley Young and it's a poor pass from Chris Smallin Fieber it's Carla Turner who hits it first time and Sergio Romero being made to work massively in this game good effort on goal well on target but another top save Jesse Lingard Manchester United starting to press now looking for that equaliser here is Romelu Lukaku pushing further out wide and that is a foul Romelu Lukaku goes down the referee has stopped play and has given a penalty to Manchester United it's going to be a yellow card as well for Leandro Gonzalez Perez in the 72nd minute lifeline for United that's a penalty through and through no effort made for the ball and there is going to be a sub as well Alexis Sanchez to make way so Romelu Lukaku steps up to take and scores it's 1-1 bottom left cool and calm as expected from Big Rom so it's full time here at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium nothing to separate the two sides it's finished 1-1 so we go into penalties Atlanta to start with Martinez with a long run up here against Romero and it pays off it's 1-0 Paul Pogba for Manchester United up against Brad Guzan hopefully he doesn't save this Paul Pogba it's 1-1 confident as ever he knows what he wants from his penalties and it's saved by Romero the second penalty there from Atlanta United Romelu Lukaku scored the equaliser in the game from the penalty spot makes it 2-1 scores again United with the advantage now and Vieba misses Sergio Romero strong off his line gets down to it quick saves the second penalty Rashford then to make it 3-1 to Manchester United he does so close to Brad Guzan's foot as well 
If he doesn't score, so close to it being saved. So Atlanta United, they need to score this if they want any chance of staying in it. And they can't. It's Sergio Romero with a third save for Manchester United. Well, there we have it. A good run out for some of the younger players. Some of the fringe players in this Manchester United team. It's finished 1-1 but 3-1 on penalties and that folks is going to be it for this episode that's going to be it for pre-season join me for the next episode we'll be having a transfer special don't miss that and after that we will of course be heading in to the new Premier League season can't wait for that but for now that's it hope you guys have enjoyed see you all soon for the next one